To start, let's take a look at some of the simple knots that are useful and become the foundation that all the other complicated knots are built upon. The most basic knot is also the most important to learn. The good news is that you know how to do it already. The overhand knot is the one you learn to tie on your own and is used to hold just about everything in the world together. But as with everything, there is a right way and a wrong way to tie an overhand knot, and a right and a wrong way to use one. The first thing that you should know is that this is not a good knot on its own. It slips apart when you least expect it. However, it's important to know how to do because it's the foundation for most of the other knots. Secondly, it's a great stopper knot. In other words, you can use it to stop your rope from slipping through a hole. And it also works great as a way to stop your ropes from fraying. To tie an overhand knot, simply make a loop in the rope, take the standing end and pull it through the loop. There's a handy variation on the overhand knot, and that is the slip knot, or the overhand loop. To tie this knot, make a loop in the rope. Take the standing end and form a bite. Push the bite into the loop, but don't completely pull the standing end through. Now tighten. There should be a loop of rope left, and the standing end should be coming back out of the knot. Untying the slip knot is easy. Just pull on the standing end, and presto, no more knot. Okay, quick review, because this one's a pretty simple knot. Make a loop in the rope, and pull the standing end through the loop. The slip knot is much the same. Make a loop in the rope, create a bite in the standing end, push the bite through the loop, and tighten. The half hitch is the second of the two foundation knots and the most basic hitch. Basically, it's an overhand knot tied around a post or any other object. It is a very loose knot, not really the kind of thing you want to use to tie down anything important. To tie a half hitch, simply make a loop around the post or object you want to attach to and pass the standing end through the loop. As you can see, the half hitch is a pretty weak knot and can slip at any moment. Normally what we do is tie two half hitches and cinch it up for a stronger knot overall. To review, take your rope and make a loop around the post. Pass the standing end through the loop. Tighten. To make a stronger knot that has a chance of holding, make a second loop and pass the standing end through the second loop. Tighten. This is called making two half hitches and it's a better knot to use if you need to hold anything down for more than a few minutes, if this is meant to be a securing knot.